Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. We're continuing on in the book of Proverbs. This is the fourth of a kind of a four devotional reflection series on this fifth chapter that deals with uh, sexual intimacy. It deals with the boundaries within the marriage of a man and a woman. And within that, there's a beautiful gift to our sexual expression, but to be aware of adultery, of temptations, of the enemy drawing us into the things that don't honor Jesus. And so we're in the final of these four reflections. And this one is based on Proverbs 5, 21 to 23. And here's our theme. No secrets. At least when it comes to God, there are no secrets. And you'll hear that in the passage. Listen to these words. Proverbs 5, beginning in verse 23. I'm sorry, beginning in verse 21, finishing in verse 23. For your ways are in full view of the Lord, and He examines all your paths. That right there should be a wake-up call. Not, not a fear, but of reality. That, that, that you, that all that you do, your ways are in full view of the Lord. He examines all your paths. There's nowhere we walk. There's nothing we think. There's nothing we do that God isn't aware of. The amazing thing is how much he loves us being aware of all those things. But then the passage goes on. The evil deeds of the wicked ensnare them and the cords of their sins hold them fast. For lack of discipline, they will die. Led astray by their own great folly. This fifth chapter of Proverbs begins with a warning to recognize that there's boundaries for how we express ourselves as sexual people. Now, that the concepts in this chapter can relate to a lot of different areas of enticement. But at the end here, there's the reminder. There's the simple reminder that, that God sees everything. He knows us, He loves us, but He's aware of all that's going on. And, and when it comes to our sins, when it comes to walking down the wrong paths, uh, we, we can worry uh, and th think, gosh, um, I'm worried people are going to find out. They're going to learn about this. Uh, we can think that we can cover our tracks like David with his sin with Bathsheba, when he committed adultery, he took another man's wife. And then he tried to cover his path, but he didn't cover his path. He thought he had, but God still knew him. And also we have to recognize that God loves us too much to look the other way. God never looks and says, you know, hey, I, I care about you, but that's, that's kind of ugly, that's a bad choice, that's unwise, I'm gonna look the other way. But God is aware and he wants to lead you, he wants to guide you, he wants to direct us on his paths. And so, we have to understand that, that when we walk those paths, there's consequences. This passage re reveals the fact that, you know, the evil deeds of the wicked ensnare them, the cords of their sin hold them fast. We can get trapped in sexual sin. We can get trapped in addictions. We can get trapped in all kinds of bad habits. We can get, we can get trapped in lots of things, and that's what the enemy loves to do. God wants to set you free. And so I encourage you to listen to these words. If, if you're picking up one of these devotionals, I encourage you to open the Bible and read Proverbs chapter five, the whole chapter. It'll take you about four minutes. It's not that long. And just say, God, what do you have to say? How do you lovingly set boundaries for your children? How are you looking out for me by saying, avoid this and watch out for that? And live each day profoundly aware that the God who loves you is watching over you. He's aware of your life. He's aware of your choices. He's aware, aware of what's happening on the inside and what you're doing on the outside. And he wants to lead and guide you. So Lord, this is our prayer. That we would live each day, not afraid that you're watching, not figuring out how we can cover our tracks, but profoundly aware that the God who made us and you, the God who loves us, you watch over us. You know our paths. There's nothing that happens that you don't see and that you don't care about. Let us live our lives aware that you see that we know, and eventually in most cases, someone else is gonna find out. So let's make wise choices and live lives that honor you and bring you blessing and joy. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Well, have a great day. I encourage you, as I always do, uh, be part of a local church, either online or on campus. If you can be on campus, be there. If you're part of Shoreline, we'll hope to see you at 9 or 11 this coming Sunday morning. If you're part of another church, be part of your church body, be a blessing there. God bless you and have a great day.